Hey guys, welcome back to Toy Box TV Live. We have a very special episode today because I am joined by Yuri Lowenthal, who many of you know as the Toy Box narrator. Now you know what I look like. Yes. It's going to ruin everything. This is the man behind the voice. So tell us That's a little it. bit about yourself for people who may not know you yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm an actor and I'm, I'm known mostly for my voice acting stuff yeah. um, and a lot of video games. Uh, mo most most video games are a lot more you know violent than than what we get right. in, in Disney Infinity, um, but uh, I, I grew up all over the place, and uh, and I found uh, acting kind of later in life. Okay. But uh, but uh, I love it. I'm a storyteller. I I you know I, I started acting in in college, and then I figured I would go into international relations like my dad did, okay. and so I sort of went on that track. But but I had already caught the acting bug, so I was always acting on the side. Mm -hmm. And I, I worked for the Japanese government for a couple of years in, in Japan. Wait, I know it's you know actors often have a weird path. It's not a direct thing, and and I thought I was just going to go that internet because I didn't think you could actually act as a right. you know that's not what real people did, and I, I I realized I was too much in love with it, so I, I ditched the government job. Okay. Came back to the states, spent some time in New York, and then found my way to, to Los Angeles and. And, and fell into, you know, while I was looking for, you know, working in TV and film, I fell into voice acting and it's been amazing. How did you first get hooked up with Disney Infinity? Uh, Disney Infinity was, was an audition like, like many others. Right. Um, and I had, because I, I don't think I had done anything for Disney Interactive before that they would have known me from. Mm -hmm. uh, but then it just... Uh, you know, it was just one of those things, and we did that that first one, right? And then headed into the you know the second one, and they they weren't sure what direction they wanted to go in. They they right. thought maybe we'll get somebody new, mm -hmm. um, but then they brought me back in, and we we tweaked sort of what they wanted, and uh, and then and I came, got to stay. And you got to and, come back for 3.0 as well, right? Exactly, and, and 3.0, and because of you guys saying nice things uh, about me, maybe I'll stay longer. I. I, I, I attribute you guys for why I'm still here, so, well, and I so think thanks for that. You, <laughs> I think you've become very iconic as the Toy Box narrator. We have a lot of fans who spend a ton of time in the Toy Box, building Toy Boxes every week, and you're there. You're that voice. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's one of the things that I, that, was very, that I was really concerned with very early on was I can't be that annoying guy that they just can't stand. You right. know, that they're like, <laughs> you're going to have to hear it. They let me know. They said, look, they're going to be hearing a lot of you, so be good um, <laughs> right. and so I that was you know I was you know, I, I don't know anything other than to to do what I do and and luckily it seemed to work but when we are directing the voice sessions that is a main concern they're like yeah. you know this is something they're probably gonna hear a lot let's get a lot of different vari you know mm -hmm. different variety of that and uh, and so that's that's a concern that is a concern we know you're gonna be listening to this a lot so so when you do the toy box narrator voice, is it mm -hmm. your voice or is it a character voice? Like, how do you get into that it's, voice? It's mostly me. Okay. It's pretty much me. Um, a little more. Were, you know, they were also worried, or one of the concerns was, look, we don't want you to be talking down to anyone. So right. that's another thing that we're paying attention to. We, you know, we want, we want, you know, to your, your your narrator to be toy box buddy who's right. who knows, you know, how things work. So. That's cool. Well, let's yeah. jump into the toy box. Let's do it because I'm going to, I'm going to, okay. I don't know if this is good or bad, but I'm going to admit here in front of three or four people who are watching this right now <laughs> that I've never, no, I'm sure it's more than that, um, that this will be my first time either playing or watching somebody play the game. It's kind of crazy. That? Yeah. It's kind of crazy. I hope, I hope you don't hate me for that, but I, I just, I wanted to be honest. Yeah, we appreciate your transparency so, there, right? Right, right. Not, I, I oh believe yes, in transparency. I'm an expert here. Let's, oh yeah, this right. box. Yeah, okay. Because you guys would have sussed it out immediately. If I had lied and said, oh yeah, I've been playing Disney in, 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 in Infinity. Yeah, I see I keep the, the name. <laughs> um, and I'm Captain John Sparrow is my favorite. Wait, is it oh, John? Oh, oh. See, you would, <laughs> yeah. you know, I, I just would have messed it up, and you would have caught me. Do you so. have a favorite Disney Infinity character? I think Infinity pr a Princess was wondering. Is there a character from Disney? Uh, Infinity? A character from Disney Infinity? Um, you know, it's tough because I've I've been a huge Marvel and Star Wars buff yeah. since I was a kid. So as soon as that came in, now there's there's so many. To there's choose from. I know there's this. Here. I, the first thing I did when when I came in, I just I just started googling all the just because. There's so many of these that I yeah that I that I haven't seen before. I mean I Danny Rand Iron Fist that's you know that's 
So that goes way back for me. That's cool. That's a unique pick. That's not the one I thought you were going right? to pick. Right? See? Cool. You thought I was going to go Captain America just because you saw those pictures on the <laughs> internet of me dressed as Captain America when I was six years old, didn't I you? I didn't, but now I need to Google that. Busted. <laughs> my, my mom made me a Captain America outfit Aww. when I was like six. That's really good. Do you still yeah. have it? No, I <laughs> wish. I thought I did because there's no way that you throw things away like that. I, uh, I think you have to share them. Like, yeah, I think. Yeah. I think that'll, that'll, that'll happen. <laughs> I'll, right, I'll, cool. I'll tweet those out later. Sweet. All right, so I think we're going to jump into Olaf the Frozen Adventure Great. by the Your Daddy Three Brothers. So these guys are uh, toy box artists from Spain. Uh, they're twins, and they work together, and they just have really incredible toy boxes that they make. I love it. That, so, that's an aspect of this game that I, that I love. Yeah. That, that, that fans get to create stuff that other people get to play with. It's incredible. That's right? huge. That's so that's what we're going to do yeah. this whole stream is we're going to go through your toy boxes and we're going to provide commentary and just check them out and see what we think. Yeah. Got our Olaf right here. Nice. Put them down on the base. Let's see. If you guys have any questions from Yuri as we go along, feel free right. to put them in the chat and we'll right. ask. Place your Olaf figure on the Disney Infinity base. Oh, green. You like that? Oh, that, was, that was like live, that was, yeah. Yeah, live narration. <laughs> yeah, you can instruct us. Right, go, exactly. That. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, Green Cap says, "Ask Curie to talk about his book for voice acting." So, do you have oh. a you have a book, right? My wife uh, Tara and I uh, wrote a, a book called "Voice Over Voice Actor: What It's Like Behind the Mic," and it came from from people, you know, contacting us, uh, email, Twitter, mm -hmm. um, saying, "Hey, I want to be a voice actor someday." Yeah. What do you, you know? How did you do it? And so we would write these long emails back saying, "Well, you know, like I said at the very beginning of this, it's a twist. Everybody has a twisty path, but here's what worked for us." And we, ha we had to keep doing that every time somebody asked. And, and Tara said, wouldn't it be easier if we just sort of all put it in a book? And that way, the next person who asks, you can just say, here's a book. And it's got all the stuff in it. Speaking of narration, I oh. think this one needs oh, some yeah. narration. Sometimes it is made of magic. Other times, it is pure imagination. And in rare occasions, it is a bit of both. But the real magic is all the things you can do. Have you ever asked how a snowman is born? Oh, it's amazing. You just need one of those magic sparks. Your imagination and cold. But you better focus on imagination. Princess Elsa will bring us all the cold we need. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready too. <laughs> you know, that, that very first, that opening for the first game, yeah, you know, the, spark the spark and all that, so we worked on for it, they were so exacting on it. They're like, we just we want exactly the right feel, you know, going into this, mm -hmm. and we did it. And then I came back the next time. They're like, we're gonna redo it. You know, yes. we've shown it to a lot of people, and we want a little more of this, a little oh, more of that. Okay. Yeah, we did it so at keep, least keep two it. or three times. Yeah, interesting. Because yeah, that has become yeah. so iconic to the yeah. Disney Infinity franchise. Exactly. Level. Yeah. I'll never forget that. I, I remember people just talking about how they got like teared up, teared up when they opened it up. I just smacked the mic. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. Um, but oh. I'm hearing some Let It Go in the background. So that's actually uh, the mu new music toy that they're using wow. note by note to recreate the song. Wow. Really this cool. game just gets cooler and cooler. 